Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look on something that just came out of the oven. It's called MCP servers in responses API. Pretty much for the new ones, you can use ChatGPT in the app like this, or you can use ChatGPT on your code through the API. So this video is going to be a little more advanced. I'm going to go through it a little, a little faster, but if you want to understand what MCP servers are and responses API, how to do that, please let me know in the comments. With that said, we're going to go to OpenAI API on Google. Let's uh, jump straight to the platform. Let's go to the API login. Keep in mind that in order to use the API, you need to have API credit. So you need to put your credit card on the, on the list. If you're wondering how much it costs, I'm going to use GPT 4.1 mini. So it costs like 40 cents per million words tokens, but we can also say it works for the general audience and then $1.60 for the output of kind of like 1 million uh, words. So with that said, and we have an API credit, we're going to go play in the platform and keep in mind that you need API credits and you don't need anything else that is paid. All the rest of this is, is free and you can do this in the playground or also you can do in your in your code. Um, so here we're going to use, for example, for being fast and cheap, GPT 4.1 mini, for the tool, we're going to use the brand new MCP server of Sapier. Here it says, get your Sapier API key. We're going to jump in real quick. I already created the MCP server. Nothing really interesting. It only asks you for the for the name that is already like that. You just click on it. And then this is the interesting part when you add the tools. So I went add tool, Gmail, and in my Gmail, I found the send email option, right? In the send email option, I'm going to configure it and I'm going to say all of this the AI can do it, except for the who's going to be sent this to, right? I want it to be sent to my email specifically just for this purpose, but the rest the AI will select it for me. So with that said, we jump into connect. If you want to jump into the code already, you can do it like this as well. Let's do some Python here. And then we're not going to use that. We're just going to copy the API key. Once it's copied, we're going to pay it, paste it on OpenAI API Playground. We connect. And once it's connected, let's put some system prompt, send emails using the Sapier MCP tool. And then here, let's say, send me an email with a poem. There you go. So let's run it. Now it's going to understand that because I'm asking for an email, it has to use Sapier. Before, you will have to do different APIs for different services. Now with MCP, you can tackle all the Sapier apps at once. I'm going to approve this email. As you can see, he's sending the email right now. There you go. He says, I have sent an email. So let's double check that. I'm going to go to my email right now. And there you go. Here, there is a poem that was sent. Here you can have the poem that was sent zero minutes ago, pretty much right away. Is 124 right now. So it was right, right after. And that's it. So imagine what kind of things you can do with this. And if you want, you can already put it on your apps. Just click on the code here and you can copy the whole code that I used to, to do this, right? That's it pretty much. That's it. I hope you, you enjoyed this and, and please let me know what do you think in the comments. Have a good day.